In the Night Orchard is the title poem to my new and selected poems. It's a poem about human nature and the natural world, their interaction, but also about desire. It even mentions St. Augustine's confession that when he was young, he sneaked over a wall to steal pears, one of his first sins. In the Night Orchard. I know, because Paul has told me a hundred times, that the deer gliding tonight through tangleweed and trash wood, then bounding across Mount Atlas Road, were after his pears. And who could blame them? On the threshold of autumn, the Asian imports, more amazing than any seckle or indigenous apple, start to ripen. Then a passing crow will pick one open. That's when the white tails who bed and gather beyond Matson's pasture will catch the scent and begin to stir. It's a dry time, and they go slowly mad for sweetness. No fence can stop them. The farmers, like Paul, will admit it starts in hunger, but how suddenly need goes to frenzy and sheer plunder. When the blush gold windfalls are gone, and the low boughs are stripped of anything resembling bounty. Bucks will rise on their hind legs and clamber up the trunks. Last week, Cecil E. Moore found one strangled in a fork, his twisted antlers tangled as if some hunter had hung him there to cure. We all remember what it's like, this driven season, this delirium for something not yet given a name. But the world turns us practical tames us for milder pleasures. For Augustine, it was actual pears that brought him out of the shadows and over a wall. For Eve, the secret inside what we now say was an apple. Others have given up safety for less, and I wonder, catching an eight-point buck outlined on the ridge amid spruce, if it's this moonstruck nature that renders the ruminants beautiful or if we stalk them out of envy, not for the grace of their gliding, but for the unadorned instinct that draws them after dark into trespass and the need to ruin the sweetest thing they've ever known.